all right, we're doing this. Are we doing this, bud? He's like, I have no idea what you're doing. We are making a YouTube video. Yep, we made a YouTube channel. We're making a YouTube video. He's con currently leaning on me, like, excessively. All right. My name's Hannah. A lot of people think it's Hannah. It's spelled H-A-N-A, and I'm just going to say it now. It's Hannah. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'll meet people and they'll say Hannah, which I'm totally okay with. If you mispronounce my name, don't, like, think that it's a big deal. It's not. I think... Like 70% of the people that know me call me Hannah and I've corrected them and they still call me Hannah. I'm too nice of a person to correct people, especially people I don't know. So I'll just casually wait for someone to call me Hannah and they'll be like, oh my god, I've been calling you Hannah this whole time. And I'll be like, yeah, but it's okay. I live in Washington State, not Washington DC, Washington State on the border between um, like Portland uh, Oregon, so I'm in Vancouver, Washington, kind of right on the border there. Um, so we are pretty much Portland, but we pay tax and we pump our own gas, pretty much is what I tell people. Three words, dogs, Disney, arts and craft, I'm gonna put into like a one word, I guess it's three. It's like look at this big hunk of gold that I have right here. I love dogs. I have two pet dogs and I currently have a, I say I have two and a half because I'm fostering a dog right now. I am a puppy raiser for Guide Dogs for the Blind. For people that don't know what that is, it's a nonprofit organization um, that matches guide dogs to blind and visually impaired people. I have currently raised, am on my fourth dog I'm raising. My first dog, for all those guide dog people watching that are curious, my first, first dog was a yellow lab named Amarillo, and I had him for about six months because I got him as an older transfer. My second dog was Lombard, who is this dog right here, and I'll tell you more about him when we introduce this guy over here. And my third dog was a golden retriever named Claire Jane. And the fourth dog I currently have, which you will meet in a little bit, is a yellow lab female named Harriet. We don't get to pick the names. They are given names and no two puppy in training at the time or a working guy has the same name. The next thing is Disney, which let's be real, is the kind of the reason why I made this YouTube channel. Um, Disney has always been a huge part of my life. I mean, I grew up watching Disney films. I've gone to Disneyland. I live in Washington and have lived in Washington most of my life. I was born in Hawaii, but Disneyland is my home park. I go to Disneyland about once a year, um, and I have been since I was kind of a kid. I've been to Disney World twice. The last time was about five years ago now, so honestly, I don't really remember it much. And then before that was four years before then. So Disney World, we don't get to go too often. I will tell you right now, I love Disney World more just because it's there's so much more. And how could you not love Animal Kingdom? Like I love animals. If, like I love dogs. I want to be a vet. I love animals type of thing. And but there's something magical about Disney World and or Disneyland and California Adventures. That's my childhood. So I love them both, but for different reasons. Um, the end goal, honestly, once I'm done with school and everything, is to move to probably Orlando or LA. I would love to live in LA, but the cost of living there is ridiculously expensive. So I'm fine with Orlando. I hate the cold, so I just want to move somewhere where it's sunny and there's Disney and happiness and magic all the time. Would be great. So in the near future, maybe I'll end up at a Disney park. Like, I'll just live there. That's fine, right? Like, they have places I can live. I'll just never go home. It's fine. Can I bring my dogs, too? I thought very long and hard about this. My boyfriend and I assign, like, Disney characters to, like, everyone we know and even our dogs. So I would be Lilo because I am this, like, Hawaiian... I'm not Hawaiian. I'm Korean, by the way. But I was born in Hawaii, so I, like, like to say I'm Hawaiian. I'm this little Hawaiian girl that, like, always has a camera and is taking pictures of everything. And I'm always followed around by a dog, whether that be the dog I gumbo who's next to me or Harriet I'm always with the dog and Lilo always has her stitch which yeah stitch is a mutant dog and Lilo calls stitch a dog so we're gonna say stitch is a dog he's an alien and he's probably one of my favorite Disney characters my favorite Disney movie of all times is Lady and the Tramp as you kind of guessed from my username I would say other movie I grew up with a lot as a child was Lion King like I watched the VHS for Lion King so much that it broke and I can't say the same thing about Lady and the Tramp. There's something about Lion King where I knew all the songs. And I'm, I love dogs more, but I'm an animal lover. So I was all about Simba and Nala and 
Timon and Pumbaa and all that. Like, I love Lion King, and my boyfriend's favorite movie is Lion King. So we, we bonded over that and our love for Disney and dogs. My favorite Pixar movie is Up, which, again, like, is not a surprise. Like, if it has dogs in it, I love it. 101 Dalmatians, Fox and the Hound, except I try not to watch that because I cry all the time. And my favorite Disney princess is Rapunzel because she's so free-spirited. I did not grow up watching. I did, but I didn't enjoy Disney princess movies a lot. I know I kind of grew up a tomboy. All my cousins were guys. And I grew up a tomboy and I loved animals, so I would rather watch all of the like Disney animal films like I listed and Bambi and things like that than watch Disney princess movies. I never had the urge to wear dresses. I never really cared about like being a Disney princess or anything. While I do love the movies now and really enjoy them like Beauty and the Beast, Rapunzel, and so on, Mulan, and so on and so on. I was not a huge Disney princess fan, which a lot of people I know, I do enjoy going to the parks and meeting meeting them, and now I, I love them a lot more, but growing up, I was not a huge Disney princess person. And let's get on with the dogs, because let's be real, like, who doesn't love to see cute dogs? Let's talk about this dude right here that you guys saw in the beginning of the video, and he kind of disappeared because he slumped down, like, to go to sleep. This is Gumbo, aka Lombard, for those who don't know him as Gumbo. Um, and I'm going to explain the reason he has two names. Uh, so Gumbo was my second guide dog in training. When he was given to me, he was given the name Lombard. And for those familiar with California and San Francisco, Lombard is that, Lombard Street is a really crooked street. And so his name was Lombard. We're not allowed to change the name. But we gave him a nickname, and his nickname in training was Lumbo Gumbo. Wasn't that right? Was your name Lumbo Gumbo? Yeah. And so about a year after I got him, he was dropped from the program. So he's my little flunked out uh, buddy right here. If you're a blind person or visually impaired and you're trusting your life, I guess, into a guide dog that they're going to lead you to point from point A to point B correctly, and you pass by a tennis court and there's a ball that flies out over the the wall, the gate, and your dog runs after it and it runs into the street, that's probably not safe. They gave me kind of the choice to adopt him if I wanted. And he was a dog that when I got him, I told myself if he ever got dropped, I would keep him. Like he is, this dog is my like right hand wingman. So you'll be seeing him a lot in my videos. Like I will bring him in because like, how could you not? This, this is the face of, oh, was your mouth open? I'm sorry. This is the face of like utter cuteness right here. So when I encouraged, when he got career changed, I adopted him. His name was Lombard and I officially changed it to Gumbo because at the time I had a Pancakes who was a food theme named and I was like, Gumbo. I don't like Pancakes or Gumbo, but I really like that name for the dog. So he became known as Gumbo. And remember when we were telling you that me and my boyfriend like to give everyone we know like Disney personas? This guy is, is Doug. He's a skinny version of Doug from Up. And if it wasn't Doug, because that kind of is a golden retriever and looks like him, we would say he's Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. He is very bouncy, even though he doesn't seem like it. He's very playful, very lively, very energetic out of all the dogs that we have. So he is Tigger. And that's Gumbo for you. Okay, shake. Good boy. All right, doggo number two. This is Aslan. Aslan as in the lion from Narnia, if you guys are um, curious. I'm sure that's what he's named after. Aslan is also a guide dog's career change dog. However, I did not raise him. His reason was medical, so he has early signs of cataracts. That doesn't mean that he's going to have cataracts. It just means that he had some signs of it and it could progress and it could not progress. Mm -hmm. And so... We, they didn't want to take the chance. Aslan, his Disney persona would be Eeyore, is what we say. He is not necessarily like depressed all the time, but he's a very lazy dog. And if he talked, he would maybe just have like this low, slow, sad tone of voice. He, I mean, as you saw in this video, like he probably was sitting for like five, five seconds before he wanted to lay down. And the dogs, I'm on a bed right now, which I need to find a better filming location, but the do the bed is, they all want to lay on this, so that's why. Maybe I'll have to sit on the floor with them or something. But yeah, Aslan is Eeyore. 
and he's just this mopey little dog. He's a broken lab is what we like to say. He hates the rain. He doesn't really retrieve things. Like he doesn't bring things back. He doesn't really play like ball. He hates water. He hates the rain. He doesn't want to go outside if it's raining. He will avoid puddles at all costs. And so he's, he's like this Eeyore. Like he lives in his own little world and he sleeps like Maybe he's like a lion, like Aslan the lion or a koala and sleep. He's, I swear to God, he, this dog sleeps like 24 hours a day. But he's also the best cuddly dog. And that's why all our friends love him so much is because if you want a dog to cuddle, Aslan's the dog. If you want a dog to go hiking and play ball and run with you, Gumbo's the dog. So we have kind of the best of both worlds. All right, dog number two and a half or three is Harriet and we had to switch because the bed was not working out for me and Harriet is not allowed on furniture and I'll kind of explain that. So Harriet is my fourth dog. I am fostering for guide dogs for the blind and she is a guide dog in training. She is almost seven months old now. Her birthday is June 8th. So yeah, she'd be almost seven months old now. So she is a very small, um, she's a full bred yellow lab, even though she's very dark. She's almost like that reddish color. She is a small lab. We call her her micro lab. Harriet, I know you, they all just want to lay down at this point. They're so tired. They've been playing all day. Um, and she is our little micro lab is what we call her, our little micro piggy because she likes to snort and make noises when she's eating. And the reason why I'm starting YouTube now is kind of my New Year's resolution. I don't really make New Year's resolution, but that was my New Year's resolution is because I got tonsil surgery three weeks ago. And so that kind of put me out for about two weeks. And that's why I'm filming everything now. And Harriet has been the most patient dog those three weeks. I mean, she goes everywhere with us. If we go to grocery stores, she goes with us. Movie theaters and pretty much anywhere we go in public, she's allowed public access to as a service dog in training. She is not my service dog in training. And a lot of people see her thing that says guide dog in training and think that I'm blind, especially in the summer when I wear sunglasses. She has the cutest face and she is the world's snuggliest dog to other dogs. She doesn't really like to snuggle with you. Like she's kind of like leaning away from me. I'm kind of pulling her towards me and she's very interested in all the Christmas stuff we have littered in this room. And she's, I think she's falling asleep. Is, is she falling asleep? I can't see. And she's that type of dog where she gravitates towards the other dogs in the house. She loves Aslan and Gumbo so much that she finds them to cuddle with her. Is that right Harriet? Yeah. She's tired. They, she, I mean, she, they all snuggle together. Every night they snuggle in one small dog bed together and it's quite cute actually. And they, they all love each other a lot. And so Harriet will be missed when she leaves, but we still have a good half a year with her still. So she's not going anywhere and we got a ton of adventures. And she's falling asleep right now. My dogs are all very, very mellow dogs. As you can see, she's seven months old and she's like, melting into my lap to fall asleep right now. So I think the dogs are pretty done with this introduction video. I hope this wasn't too long of a video, but you guys kind of got to know a little bit about me. I think it's really good to have an introduction video kind of to learn more about me. And so you're not just wondering about me as a mysterious person. I want to get to know you guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, Put them in the comments below. I'll respond as best as I can. I'm trying to still figure out how to do like the whole YouTube thing on my phone and everything. So feel free to comment down below. Write a sentence about you. Write an interesting fact about you. If you have a YouTube channel, let me know you have one. I want to follow more YouTube channels because I am subscribed to some but not a ton. And I, I mean, I think I spend like 10% of my life just watching YouTube videos at this point. So Comment down below, let me know about you. Do you love dogs? What's your favorite Disney movie? What's your favorite dog? What's your favorite Disney dog? What kind of stuff do you wanna see from me? I plan on doing vlogs, kind of unboxings, hauls, Disney stuff, dog stuff, Disney dog stuff, kind of all that in between. So if you love Disney and you love dogs and you love adventures and vlogs, subscribe to my channel will be stuff and that's kind of what I want to focus this year around is just using this as an outlet to kind of have, express my creativity meet new people I love talking I mean I could talk forever about Disney and dogs so let me know in the comments if you have any questions introduce yourself and I will see you next time this dog is I can't even right now <laughs>